All right, I think it looks pretty neat. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Hugh with Prolific Breed. Uh, we're standing in front of our Red Sea Reefer 350 right now. I'm gonna try to do um, weekly updates on how this tank is doing and what I'm working on. So if you like that kind of content, be sure to um, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you get all of the latest updates on this tank as well as all of the other builds that I have going on. Uh, since last week, I haven't done much to this tank at all. I mentioned that I was going to do a water change and I didn't do that at all either. Uh, my Topaz Puffer right here, he took a jump out of the Red Sea Reefer um, sometime between Friday night. I'm not even sure because I came down around 7 a.m. and I saw him on the ground right here. So he took about a five foot plunge onto the ground and when I was looking at him on the ground he was pretty much dried up but I saw him like kind of breathing a little bit so I picked him up and I threw him back into the tank and once he hit the water he kind of went berserk and ended up on the bottom glass here for like an hour or so and he kind of went back to life as the lights turned back on and right now he has like a pop eye on one side and then the other eye looks kind of normal but I'm gonna kind of monitor him and see how he's gonna do for the next couple of days I guess um, but I thought he was a goner because he was pretty dried up so I don't know how long he was kind of laying out there out in the open like that but I need to figure out how to prevent this from happening again I know that with the nets and everything I've tried that before and it's just a hassle to take it down and kind of access your tank and everything but I gotta come up with a solution I guess besides that I shot a open box video uh, yesterday but I can't post it because it turned out that it's missing parts and things like that it's an algae scrubber so I'm purposely letting this um, algae grow throughout the tank right here and especially right here on the wave maker this showed up after one week because it wasn't there I got hair algae I've been kind of feeding the tank um, heavily to say and I haven't done a water change in a while so I guess the phosphates are up and everything and algae is coming back now I just wanted to test that algae scrubber to see how it fares with my tank but it's just missing parts and I'm waiting on the manufacturer to kind of get me the parts so I could get everything started with the tank the only thing that I have changed is uh, I added the yellow tang in here. I originally wanted him a couple of weeks back, but through communication error, I got um, this yellow ras instead. So this yellow tang was in a 29 gallon for a couple of weeks, and then he looks like he's doing okay. So I put him into this main tank here. He's still a little shy and he's like staying behind the rocks and everything. From there, nothing much has changed. Just some of the anemones, they moved. Um, these two were right next to each other and one moved to the side. I had one right here with the leather and he moved down and kind of stayed here for one day and then the next day he ended up all the way over here to the top which reminds me that I have um, some anemone um, bowls that are made out of glass that just came through a couple days ago I'm gonna do an open box on that and then we'll see how the footing is for um, this anemone right here in the center and if he's kind of on the loose, I'll try to grab him out and put him into the put him into the bowl to see um, 
if he stays in there or not. So I met this kid on OfferUp. He says he used these little um, containers and I guess the anemone um, feels comfortable in it. And then after a while when it's growing, um, it feels constricted and then it just kind of splits on its own. But let's get to the open box on the, on the little containers. All right, so when I ordered these, they were available through Amazon. And when I ordered them, I didn't realize that it was gonna come straight from Hong Kong or China. I forgot um, which destination. Let me check the package real quick. This is coming from Hong Kong. It took about a week to get here. Now, in the description on Amazon, it's called Home Deco Crystal Glass Aquatic Plant Cup Pot Mini Aquarium Red Shrimp Fish Tank Crystal Holder. <laughs> so, I guess people use these little cups um, to put in some moss or like plants and things like that. And then it has two suction cups to kind of hang it on your glass. Let me assemble this real quick. It's gonna look like that. And it's gonna suck onto your glass. And then, I don't know, the person who I was um, talking to, he said um, little baby anemones love it in here because they feel um, safe and enclosed and then they kind of stay in one spot for a while and they'll just continue growing and once they um, grow enough where they feel um, constricted by this um, glass container they just split themselves on their own because they feel uncomfortable that's his theory I went ahead and bought um, the same cups that he's using and it was fairly cheap. It was, I think, around eight or nine dollars for four. So it's very cheap. So I thought I would give it a try. Now my anemones are all on the rocks and I've been waiting for them to kind of move around. And maybe I can just kind of cut them and propagate them. And while they're like small um, babies, I thought I could use this to kind of incubate them and make them feel safe and at home so they can kind of recover and start um, expanding and growing again. Now, I think it's a pretty good price for what you get. I'll leave a link down in the description, but I'm gonna rinse this out because it looks kind of dusty. Who knows what's, um, what's on there right now. I don't wanna get it into the tank, but that anemone up top, I'm gonna see if um, he has his foot anchored in anywhere right now. If he doesn't, I'll try to peel him up and then maybe we'll um, propagate him in half and then stick him into the into the um, this container right here. All right, we're back with the Red Sea Reef for 350. Now the anemone was right here where the yellow wrasse was at. I got pretty lucky because I, I reached in there and I saw the foot all bubbled up and he didn't anchor down yet so I told Alexa to turn off all of the wave makers and then I kind of moved them with one hand and I wanted to place them somewhere around here so I could grab him again so he's right here um, the wave makers aren't blowing him around we'll put the cup in and then we'll put the anemone in there to see how how he likes it and if he settles in Alright, I think it looks pretty neat. Um, the suction cups are very good. Uh, just one press and it's very secured onto the glass. And I just scooped up the anemone and just threw them in there real quick. I think I should put in some um, crushed coral just so it has something to latch on. But I'm going to see if he latches onto the glass itself. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let me give you an, 
side view of how it looks. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes before turning on the wave makers again to see if he sticks on. Um, when they're healthy, their um, foot is very sticky. Even the tentacles are very sticky. So I have all of the wave makers off right now. I have it like a little higher than what it was liking. So the anemones, they have a mind of their own. So if they want less light, they would move lower to the bottom of the tank. So this one, it was unhappy for some reason and it was moving um, lower one day. And then today he was all the way up here. So I believe he was kind of searching for more light. So I have him a little bit more higher than where he was at, but I'm gonna keep an eye on him and see what happens. You see the foot down there, it's super inflated and it looks like he's suctioning onto the, to the glass. There's a side view again, but I'm gonna give it 30 minutes and then I'm gonna turn on the wave makers. So I have three more. I'm gonna decide if this guy is big enough for me to kind of cut in half again and then I could place the two cuttings into um, two bowls each so they can have time to recover and grow and expand but overall I think it's pretty cool for eight bucks and I guess people use these cups to kind of grow plants in them so if you have a shrimp tank or something like that you want like elevation with your plant so the shrimps can kind of swim around and decide where to perch and everything but we're using um, these cups these planted cups for anemones only because um, someone who I met through offer up says that he uses these for little baby anemones and in his case he told me that they're comfortable and they stay in the the bowl itself and once they kind of grow and outgrow the bowl they will split on their own um, he says he has many splits through the bowl so i'm gonna give it a try but yeah overall i'm pretty happy with the price and everything uh, if you guys want to get your own, I'll leave a link down in the description below. It's pretty cheap. Eight bucks for four of them. And they're coming from Hong Kong. And shipping was, wasn't too bad. It took about a week or two to get here. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this week. I'll be sure to update you guys um, if this anemone stays in the bowl. And then if I decide to... Um, frag it or not but overall I'm super happy with this I'll be sure to update you guys next week so stay tuned be sure to like comment subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye